Hello guys, this is Adit. Welcome to my channel Movement Science, where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram, where I post pictures of my notes and also put out some daily MCQs. The reference time for all the topics that I am going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out and let's get started. In this video, I am going to introduce you guys to gate. So this is going to be a short video where I will define the gate. Then we will see what are the major tasks that are carried out during gate. And I will briefly talk about the gate cycle. Next video, we will move on to the gate cycle and its phases and sub phases. We will understand what exactly happens in the gate cycle in depth. And then in future videos, we will talk about the kinematics, kinetics and all the complex stuff about the joint angles and how to remember those. So let's quickly cover this topic. So before the definition, I want to talk a little bit about the gait analysis. We started doing gait analysis by just taking the video of the person and then checking the degrees at each joint, right? All the degrees at each joint from frontal and maybe the sagittal plane. And then eventually, and until the recent years, as the technology started booming, we had a three camera setup. We also put markers at each joint so we could detect the angles formed at each joint very accurately. We also had the EMGs to check the muscle activity at each joint. And also now we also ask the person to walk on a force plate, which gives us the idea of how much pressure is put on the ground at each phase of the gait, right? So that's how we do the gate analysis now. I'll see if I can make a video on the complex biomechanical gate analysis and how it's done in the future. And I'll post it as soon as possible. So going back to the gate definition, it is a translatory progression of the body. So you can see the body goes from one point to another point. That is a translatory progression. If you want to understand what, what type of motion are exactly there, you can check out my playlist of core concepts or cornerstone concepts where I talk about different types of motion. So this is a translatory progression that happens of a body by coordinated rotatory movements of the body segments. Now why do I say rotatory movements? Because when you are walking, this is the movement that is happening right from top. If you see, this is the movement. So every leg when you take it ahead, there is rotation of your trunk happening so that coordinated rotatory movements lets your body go ahead in a translatory progression and that is what gait is. So when we study gait, we take a gait cycle that is a whole cycle and then it gets repeated again and again and then we break it down into phases, right? So one gait cycle can be broken down into a stance phase and a swing phase. Now what is stance phase? In stance phase, your whole leg will be taking the weight of the body. And the swing phase is when your leg is swinging in the air. So if you can see over here, the person loads his whole weight on his right foot and then takes the weight of his whole body where he's swinging the other foot, right? So that is over here the right stance phase because he's taking all the weight of his body on his right leg. And then once he goes ahead, what will happen? The left stance will start and the right will start for swinging. And again, the same way when your right is in stance, left is in swinging, right? Now these stance and swing phases have sub phases under them, which we will discuss in depth in the next video. This is just an introduction to get you idea of what exactly happens. So your right stance will have your left swing and your right swing will have your left stance because when one foot is swinging other has to support and the other foot is supporting the other one will swing right now between those there are some periods where your both foot are in contact with the ground which is called as double support over here right double support and double support over here and then the rest of it will be right single leg support correct because it's in the right stance and over here it will be left single leg support because it is the left stance. So that is the basics of gait cycle. Let's look at this in motion. So if you can see in the video, I start with my right foot that is the right stance and my left foot is swinging that is the left swing followed by which there is the left stance and my right foot is swinging that is the right swing, correct? 
Now between these two moments there comes a point right over here where my both foot okay right now my both foot are in contact with the ground which is the double stance phase right where my both foot are in contact with the ground followed by which again it is followed by a swing phase so this is how the whole gait cycle carries so now that we have understood what a gait cycle consists of and what are its phases we will now move on to the major tasks that are covered in gait so during gait these are the major tasks that have to be completed by your body otherwise the gait won't be proper so first thing is preventing lower limb collapse you cannot afford to collapse your lower limb at any point of the gait right second one is the upright posture and balance you need balance and an upright posture if you need to walk simple right then third one is the control of foot trajectory you need to put and load the weight of whole body through your foot in the right way if your foot goes to right to left you can trip and fall so that's what foot trajectory is and when you are landing you need to absorb the forces of your whole body and transmit them into the ground and then when you are going ahead you need to push it off the ground all these factors matter a lot so that you can propel yourself further and once you propel yourself further you need to slow down and absorb the forces right so both of these are very important points then going ahead you need to also generate mechanical energy to maintain your velocity you are walking ahead so that velocity that you generate need to be maintained and if you need it you need to increase it even more right so that is the fourth point and then finally shock absorption and stability is something you cannot miss in gait right when you are putting that foot on the ground during that heel strike you need to have the shock absorption because the whole body weight is passing through your legs on the foot and you should also be able to provide the stability through your lower limb so those are the major tasks that you have to do during a gait for a smooth gait cycle and then continue it further so that's all we have for this video now let's quickly summarize what we saw we saw the definition it is a translatory progression which happens with coordinated rotatory movements then we saw gait cycle has two phases the stance phase and the swing phase and it is again subdivided which we will look into depth in the future video then we saw what are the major tasks that have to be carried out in gait first is preventing the collapse of the lower limb second one is maintaining upright posture and balance third one is force absorption and transmission that absorption during heel strike like a shock absorption kind of thing and then pushing off the ground so that you can propel further during the end stages of the gait right so that is the force transmission and then you need to constantly generate that mechanical energy so that you can maintain and increase the velocity of walking so that you can go ahead so with that we finish off this topic that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like my video please share it with your friends don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like the video as it really helps me out also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover and see you soon in the next video